Hey, Confirmation Nation, this is the Eighth Commandment, Truth Matters. Uh, grab your workbooks, grab your, I'm going to grab that here, your catechism, and let's roll uh, to the Eighth Commandment and its meaning. Uh, there we read that it's that we should not give false testimony against your neighbor. What does it mean? Well, we should fear and love God that we don't tell lies about our neighbors. We don't betray him, slander him, hurt his reputation, but defend him, speak well of him, and explain everything in the kindest way. This is a really tough one. Right? Here's a Bible passage uh, that, that speaks to it. Uh, Ephesians 4, 25 and then 29. It says, Therefore, having put away falsehood, so here's the biblical foundation for all this. Let each of you speak the truth with his neighbor, for we're members one of another. Don't let corrupting talk come out of your mouth, but only as such is good for building up as fits the occasion, that it might give grace to those who hear. Um, if there's one thing that people love, right? And I know that all of you that are listening to this, your parents, everybody at school, this is really tough. I don't care who you are. It's really difficult to just reject the uh, to reject rumors, to reject trash talk, to not uh, come at somebody when they when they try to make fun of you or say something that's that's bad about you. You might want to counter that, or or maybe you know you don't like somebody and you're going to start uh, a rumor and, and and go after that person's reputation. Uh, I'm, I'm filming this on Election Day, uh, and, you know, that's what we've been seeing in this, and, and probably every presidential election that's ever been. You've got lies on, on both sides. You've got people trashing the reputation of the others. And, and frankly, it just gives a really, really bad uh, testimony and a, and a really poor example for adults, for all of us, right, for our leaders, for the rest of us. Not good, not good, because we should be trying to say, look, this is what I stand for. Wouldn't it be better to do that? This is what I'm about. This is, this is what I believe. This is what I think is right. And, and, and let me listen to where, to where you're coming from, you know, because I want to hear. That's, I think, what's involved in, in as, as, uh, as Luther says, that we would speak well of somebody and, and explain everything in the kindest way. So let me ask you this. Somebody comes up to you and says, oh, did you hear what happened with so-and-so? Did you hear what they did? And, and maybe everyone's talking about it. Now, first of all, I want you to think to yourself, would you want someone talking about you? Would you want someone you know, creating a really horrible rumor uh, and, and, and talking all kinds of trash about you? I really doubt that you would want that. You would want them to speak well of you. And, and it's again, it, it is a challenge. But if we remember how much God loves us, if we remember the things that Jesus went through, the lies that were told about him, the slander, the betrayal that he went through uh, to save us, in addition to dying and, 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 and suffering all of that, we think, wow, that, that's how much God loves me. And, and so that means, listen, I don't have to play the game. My worth is in Jesus. Not in how people see me. So, because a lot of times what we do is we tear others down so that we can build ourselves up. And I think what winds up happening is really the opposite: is we both go down in flames, and and both parties suffer for it. Right? They suffer because of the bad thing you said, and you suffer because that is just not the way to live. So we got to ask ourselves: Are we going to be, as we move through life, do you want to be known as the wrecking ball, uh, which? which is what they use to demolish buildings. It's a great gigantic, uh, I think it's probably made of iron or something, and it just crashes into buildings and knocks them down. Google it and, 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 and you'll see video of that happening. Or do you want to be the construction crew? The person who comes in and says, wow, there's some stuff going on here and I want to make it better. I want to help. I, I want things to heal. I, I want to make your life better. I, in fact, I want to make sure that, that maybe that rumor gets stopped. I, I wanna, I'm gonna stand with you and say, hey, what, what they're saying is not true and, and I'm gonna set the record straight. W what if we all did that? We wouldn't have to worry about what someone's saying. We wouldn't have to worry about talking behind someone's back because we would always say what we mean in front of them and that's another good thing to practice. Say to yourself, could I say what I'm gonna say looking the other person straight in the eye? Could I look at them and could I say this statement. If not, well then maybe it's not worth saying. 
I would say it's definitely not worth saying. Because what happens is, you know, we get brave when the person's not around, but when they're around, we, we quickly realize that that was not the right way to go. It was not the right thing to do. Okay, and so again, we're stuck with regret instead of, you know, all the things that we thought were gonna happen, doesn't. So think about it. Is what I'm gonna say gonna build that person up? Is it gonna help the issue, help the matter? I want them to know the joy of the Lord. I want them to know who God is. I want them to know how great He is. And I can't do that if I'm spending my time trashing the people all around me, left and right, starting lies and, and just, uh, or, or simply just joining in. Because you might say, well, I didn't start the rumor, Pastor, I'm good. Well, you have the power at any point to shut it down. And just think about it that way. I want, you to, I want those words to come up to you when that person comes up to you. I want you to hear my voice saying, shut it down. Shut it down. Okay? And, and, and frankly, that could be a real easy way to stop it. You could say, you know what? I'm going to shut it down. Because I'm not going to get involved in that because that's not helpful. All right? So, I think the amazing things could happen in our world if we all did this. Um, I think it's how God wants us to shine our light and how he wants us to be different. In a world filled with all this stuff, we're going to be the people that say, you know what, no, 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 no. Not today. We're not going to do that. I'm going to speak the truth about other people and I'm going to really just en endeavor in all that I do to help them and support them. All right? So we'll see you next time. We're going to get into uh, 9 and 10, uh, the 9th and 10th commandments, some really cool stuff. And uh, we'll see you then.